about a million ways to uh, manage your uh, engine during climb out. I'm going to show you mine. Stick with us on flywheel. Hey, I'm Scott Verdue, and uh, today on flywheel we're going to take a look at the uh, engine management or fuel management uh, during the uh, climb. So the first thing we're going to do is, what I'd like to do is, I, I set up the engine monitor to monitor my hottest west at the eastbound 2334. Change frequencies. 20 people. Okay, so what I do is, I set the uh, engine monitor uh, to monitor and stick on my hottest cylinder, typically. In this airplane, it's either three or four. Okay, so then I can watch it. And uh, it's kind of a density altitude. I look at it all the time. It's what I do at every takeoff, every climb. And then I basically run the uh, fuel flow at uh, wide open throttle. And uh, I run the fuel flow. Oh, come on now. Down to maintain about 1300 EGT. And then that's my climb. Climb speed, I'm usually around about, uh, about 120 ish. I like 120. I'm not going to be slavish and you know, be right on the same number, but uh, anything over 110 is good cruise climb. Uh, depending on how fast you want to get to altitude. So that's kind of how I run it. And I, I just keep leaning the fuel flow down to stay at around 1300, and that's a good density altitude target um, for just about every operation. Better set that course. So I just keep leaning the fuel. I mean, I'm not in a big hurry. I'm not have to be super precise, but uh, I'm just going to keep running, keep it right around 1300, and check it every now and again to make sure I'm still there. And uh, my cylinder head temperatures are all pretty cool right now. That's uh, 1309, 326, 325, 315, and 310, and I'm running 1300. So my fuel flow is back a little bit from takeoff. And that's fine. Right here, I'm, I'm compensating for the best power, for the density altitude, and uh, my, again, my CHTs are controlling, not the, not the EGTs. The EGTs are trend item, and uh, so I'll, I will my, change my fuel flow if I can't control my CHTs. But as you can see, they're they're running pretty good, so I don't have to worry about them. All right, everything else is in the green. Our temperatures are going really good. The manifold pressure just falling back because I normally aspirated airplane. Climbing through uh, 5,000 feet. That's really pretty simple, I think. 1,000 more feet to go. We're going to go to 6,500 today for our little trip down to Frederick and some more. I really like this engine monitor because I can just kind of go zip, scan down, and I can see how everything's going, read my volts, uh, how much fuel I've used, what I have remaining, and uh, time to empty. I'm burning so much gas that I don't have much time to empty, but I'm almost to my, uh, my cruise altitude, so we're, all that's going to come back real fast. Not worried. So, see, I've been pulling the power back just a little bit to keep that 1300 EGT. And she's been averaging 800 to 900 feet per minute in the climb. Getting ready to level off here. Here's the level off. All right, I'm going to pull the RPM back. Full throttle, full RPM. I only run the RPM back to 2500 for the climb. If I have a noise sensitive area in the middle of the city, I don't want to piss everybody off. But other than that, I want to use full RPM for the climb because that's the best performance of the engine. And you can see it's not hurting it. CHTs, they're still right here at the top of the climb, 309, 325, 321, 340, 309, and 308. So they're all running pretty good. So I got my cruise set up, and now I'm going to set my lean. All right, pretty simple. That's the, that's the method I use. What's the method you use, and how does it work for you? 
and uh, one of the things I really recommend is having an engine monitor. Uh, I really, really, really like that. It's like having a flight engineer that uh, doesn't talk back. <laughs> I spent some time as a flight engineer, so uh, I, I can make that joke. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, hope it's worthwhile to you. And uh, so tell me what you do. I'd like to hear about it. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification that the subscribe button is down there on the lower left. The bell shows up there, too. Hit the bell for notifications of the next video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. I'm Flywire.